Hello everyone, welcome back uh, to another video. Today, we are supposed to be doing podcast episode uh, 18, and we're not yet recording that, but today I'm just recording a little video, sitting down, talking to you about basically what the whole death in the family situation was when coming back to school. So, if you don't know this already, on Thursday, we got news that our grandma had a heart attack um, at, like, around late last night. And then at 5.30 a.m. Thursday, we heard the news. It's now, like, Monday, 8.03 p.m., I think. So, it's been about four to four days since it's happened. Um, and we thought she was going to get better. And then around Thursday, 3 p.m., she sadly passed away um but you can hear many versions of this story in William's explanation on what happened uh in some in the video or like another vlog I'm going to post soon about college and how I dealt with the passing in college um yeah uh, you can hear the story many times if you want to, but that's just a brief thing. She was in ICU. She wasn't stable. She wasn't doing good, and uh, basically she wasn't doing well. Like, uh, so that's not good at all. Um, yeah. So we missed Thursday and Friday because of the grieving process, including the death. Um, because nobody would want to go to college the not even a day after their grandma's passing. Like, you can't just move on that quickly. You're going to think about it. And our parents was like, that's completely up to you. You can go if you don't want to. It's completely understandable if you don't want to. I was like, yeah, I'm going to take this day. And I'm glad I did because I still was in the grieving process. And I was still sad and not sleeping well, not really eating well. Over the last few weeks, me and William has been having like, we're still eating a, a light seg amount, like around a thousand something calories a day. And we normally burn around like 300 or 400 calories. So maybe not 400 calories, that might be stretching it, but maybe like 300 or something. And to deduct that from the very little diet anyway, we're eating like a five-year-old, I think. Uh, but, yeah, me and William have been having, like, little to no appetite the pa these past two, like, I think two weeks now. But it's just been more prominent today. Um, not today, but, like, over the past couple of days, especially since this happened, that me and William really had little to no appetite uh, so yeah we missed Thursday and Friday and of course I had to get a butt ton of work to d those days I was missing we took Saturday and Sunday off because that's the weekends and we don't go to on college on Saturday Saturdays and Sundays so we took those days off Monday was our first day back after a four day long break of college um it was a well needed break like honestly I got to breathe for a little bit from work college <laughs> meetings uh stuff like that so I got to breathe a little bit for four days um and uh yeah Monday it was the day we were coming back so on the bus we were just talking about what had happened and our little lucky charm thingies uh yeah, so that was sweet. Uh, then, in first period, I told my friend, she saw what happened on my story, but she got to have more detail on what happened. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. She was like, oh my gosh. She, she, she felt sad, and we heard, we learned one thing, that when her grandma passed away two years ago, that she didn't get to see her. Like, it wasn't like an age-restricted thing like we had in the ICU. Because uh, to visit our grandma, you at least had to be like 16. 
years or older. I'm 54, so I'm, like, way past that uh, limit. But if you're under 16, even 15 and a half, you can't come in the ICU because the hospital had four four floors, and we were at the tippy top because we were at, we were in the ICU. I wasn't in the ICU. My grandma was. I wasn't. Um, yeah, so, but her hospital that her grandma was at was, they didn't have an age restriction limit, uh, so, but her cousins or something, that they barely even knew the grandma could visit, but not the actual granddaughter of the grandma who loved her dearly and was in her life every day. I'm like, what the hell? Like, I thought that was completely stupid, um, and just, overall, really, really absurd on why she couldn't do that, um, which I still can't believe that to this day. Uh, but yeah, we discussed that, and then the gym teacher said, oh, you can play, like, basketball or pinball or something, so we did that. Um, and yeah, I was really hungry because I didn't eat since... I was around this time and I was experiencing like hunger pain and stuff. For the last couple of days, I sometimes I'd be I felt extreme hunger in the morning, uh, like four or five a.m. this morning. I felt extreme hunger because uh, I'm not eating for over a half a day, uh, maybe even more. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to remember the last time I ate because I skipped dinner. Maybe the last time I ate. Um, on Sunday, it was like 4 p.m. It was 5, so 4. Yeah, by 5 a.m., it, it had already been 13 hours since I've ate. I didn't eat breakfast because I couldn't have time. I'll tell you why. Uh, so, eight, so that was 5 a.m. in the morning. 6, 7, 8, eight. Yeah, I went 16 hours without eating a single bite of food. So, as you can tell, my eating has went way down to a point I would go more than half a day. And the only thing that would allow me or make me eat was hunger pains, extreme nausea, or a hypoglycemic attack. Those make me feel like crap. So, I was hungry, and I was having hunger pains, and like, ugh. And of course, the gym teacher didn't have any food, so I had to wait till like, 10, 10.10 10 a.m. to have second chance breakfast. Luckily, I waited till then. We had delicious, yummy powdered donuts, um, and it was delicious. Um, I got into Miss Peter's class. She didn't, like, come up to me or anything. Uh, William grabbed the papers I was supposed to need for Thursday and Friday. But the lab paper we did on Friday wasn't in the baggy pouch. So I was like, okay, I'll deal with these two papers. Uh, I'm still working on one of them, which is called... William, can you see the name? Uh, uh, it is called AP Environmental Science Water Pollution Event Research. So, uh, thank you, William. Uh... Yeah, I have to do an event research paper of 13 types of water pollution events. Um, and you think, okay, Johnny, all I ask is a uh, event name, the location, the date, what happened, what kind of pollution, chemical, what was, slash, were the causes, point source or non-point source. So that's the first question. Then what effects did the pollution have on humans, environments, how was the pollution cleaned up? are the long-term effects, but after 30 minutes, I could only do three. The questions have such long explanations that I had to write so much for only three questions. I have 13 of them to do tonight, um, and I already finished up the other paper and the other paper, and I have a huge test tomorrow. <laughs> coming up that I've never studied before because she's like okay so the notes we took on Thursday and Friday miss I wasn't here how am I supposed to study you didn't even link the notes to canvas like canvas is a site we use to see our online assignments not our paper assignments or see what's coming up in class that day or to schedule like meetings with counselors 
uh, Canvas is a site we used to, for like elementary school and middle school, uh, we used to, um, or at least my sixth grade in college was like, we used to do uh, Google Classroom. Wow, that's weird. We have show like six little columns of our six class periods. We, we used to have six class periods for like mm, an hour each. Maybe a little less. Uh, I forgot how sixth grade was. Sixth grade college year. That was four or five years ago. Um, I was like 51 at the time. No, sorry, I'm dumb. 49. That's when I started uh, dating William. That's cool. Uh, I'm now in 11th grade college year. Uh, classified as a junior in college. Um... But yeah, um, I'm in AP Environmental Science. <laughs> um, but yeah, it takes me a while, and I in one in we got the most classwork I've ever seen in two days for Miss Peters, and those were the only days I was out. I have a total of three papers, but two papers are already completed. It took me two hours to do. Uh, but this one's the longest one that I'm trying to finish up tonight or early in the morning. Um, but three whole papers, ginormous test tomorrow, math work, uh, so, and a turkey hand assignment in art. Um, but my friend Flora finally got to know what happened because her sister Emily did not say or specifically say what happened and she was like why were you out Donnie and I was like my grandma died and she's like oh. her eyes lit up she was like what how can this happen to him <laughs> yeah uh, I don't know the answers or explanations on how that happened uh, but yeah um, I'm gonna tell you this goes 8 a.m. 8:30 a.m. in the morning when we go to tell, like, we go to turn it on, our mom gives us that money, like, oh, please excuse Donnie and William, they, you know, and his friends and stuff, because they had a death in the family, and yeah, uh, so we take it there, and she was like, you can go ahead, take this note to Miss Bowling, because we don't have much information, they wanted us to bring a pamphlet from the ICU, in no way in God's name was I thinking of a pamphlet because Miss Bowling was like, oh, I'm sorry. You have to bring a pamphlet so you can be unexcused, even though it says death on the family note, even though we don't really give you time to grieve. So you're going to have to um, give us a pamphlet or something about the hospital. I'm like, the last thing I was thinking about was getting a pamphlet when my I was when I was holding my grandmother's dying hand. Like what? Her cold hand. The last thing I was I wasn't even thinking about pamphlets. I was bawling my eyes out. I was having a throbbing headache. My eyes were stingy, going on empty for hours of no food, crying my eyes out. The last thing I'd be thinking about is a fucking pamphlet. So she's like, oh, I'll excuse you this time. If it happens again, <laughs> please stop wishing that. I don't want it to happen again. That was horrible. Um, and she just said, well, Josh, if it happens again, you won't be unexcused. I'm like, but who's thinking about a pamphlet? Because nobody's thinking about a pamphlet when they're in the ICU and their grandma is fighting for the, her life right there in front of his little eyes. And, like, there's no way I would think would be thinking about a freaking pamphlet. There's just no way I would be thinking about a pamphlet. There's no way. I'm honestly saying, like, I would like to, to you to answer this question in the comments below. If you can comment, uh... Would you be thinking about a pamphlet for your college to turn in from the hospital so you can have unexcused absences while your grandma's dying right in front of your eyes? Would you do that? No. 
and the hospital didn't have like pamphlets and we were like we it's not like we were touring around the hospital we waited in a waiting room for nine hours going back and forth visiting my grandma then staying three hours in her icu bedroom thing while we watched her slowly pass away for three more hours until 3 p.m she died and then we were just sitting there and my mom was having a panic attack of some of some sort and we were crying and bawling our eyes out of her last little heartbeat jar crying and her eyes stinging um and ordering food <laughs> and we're like no we didn't have time to go touring around we were at the hospital for about 10 hours <laughs> Did you really think we were going to tour around the hospital and not stay in that one place and grab pamphlets? No. Just take the paper note saying they had a family death. That's more than enough reasons to unexcuse you for two days. It's two days. It's not like a whole week. It's two days. Um... And the weekends, but they don't count the weekends because it's the weekends. You're supposed to be off. Um, I have to email Mr. Melberger if we get our snack packs because Tuesday is our last day of college because we have a two-day week because of Thanksgiving break. Yay! Uh, so tomorrow will be our last day of college on a Tuesday. Uh, it's Monday at 8.19. PM. So I've been talking for a while. Uh, I'm just talking about my day, honestly. Uh, I should be saving this for the podcast, but it's fine. Uh, I don't think we're planning on doing a podcast tonight since it's super late, and I don't know how my friend Doc feels about it, but we will have to see. Um, so yeah, Miss Bowling said, oh, it's okay. Go on. Go ahead. You know, it's fine. I'm like, okay. Ah, thank you. And we were very respectful. We weren't like, really? Like, you just don't want to take... We were, like, really respectful. Um, and then we went down to the media center to see if we could get headphones. Because my headphones, the ones that we used to have the microphone on, they broke and they static. Uh, the microphone completely busted on there. But I could still use them for great music quality. It's just that they have hanging wire out of them, and they static. So I was like, I don't feel comfortable plugging that into my computer every day to listen to music while I do my college work. So I got a new pair of headphones. Yes, they're not as great quality. They don't have a microphone, but they're blue, and they work just fine, and they push me through the day. Although I did get a little emotional uh, in art because I was listening to my music, and one song just hit me, and, like, almost tears filled in my eyes. Like, I got a little emotional and I, about the situation. I'm like, oh, God damn it, Donnie, don't cry. Like, I, I, obviously, I wasn't crying, and I pushed it to the day. I just got a little emotional, and oh, I just had to breathe for a sec. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm tired. Um. Uh, so, yeah, then we just, in fourth, we done our same old, and that my math teacher, uh, did, after lunch, he was like, hey, Donnie, I was like, yeah, he was like, I'm, I saw your email, I couldn't have time to respond it, to it, but I am so sorry for your loss, uh, if you need anything, let me know. I'll be there to support you. And I was like, oh, my math teacher gave me that sweet message uh, in person. And I was like, thank you so much. Like, uh, it means a lot. Um, all my teachers wished me well. Like, so sorry for your loss. Like, they're respectful people. Uh, they do assign a lot of work. But I get the work done. And, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I pursue... Math, I'm like almost falling asleep in there. <laughs> uh, although Miss Parson, my special help teacher, was not there that day, and there was this random lady at the back table. She seemed nice, but didn't say hello. She was just chilling in the back, and I didn't know she was there. I was like, "Oh shit!" We were 17 minutes in the class, and I noticed her back. There. I was like, "When is she coming?" Uh, I don't know her name, but she was a random lady in math. So yeah. Um, it wasn't a substitute, but we had a substitute in uh, Miss Fraser's classroom. Um, she has a she's been a sub I had before. She's all right. She's not like 
strict, but she can say, say do your work and get it done on time, and I did. Um, sorry, my back kind of hurts just a bit. Um, so, we get home, and her mom is, like, folding fitted sheets or something. Um, she's like, yeah, I want to help me. <laughs> we walk to the door, and I'm like, oh, uh, my, my friend was like, nah. <laughs> and she's like, oh, you love me. You you help me, right? And we're like, okay. Uh, like, about 19 minutes go by. We're like, you need help now? And she was like, yep. Uh, and we, William helped her fold the pillowcases, put them in the right things. And we don we're we donating a bunch of sheets and bed sheets to Goodwill. Um, and then we have, we made, we organized our closet. And it looks Gorgeous! Our hall closet, so it can finally close, and the towels are so perfectly fitted, and everything so perfectly neat. So it looks great. And she said, "Thank you so much." You know, she very much appreciated it. It's not like she didn't. And we're having fun. We were laughing during it, so it wasn't like, oh. Uh, and it only took about like thirty, forty minutes. So not really that long. Um, after we're done, my dad, not my dad. Uh, sorry, their dad. <laughs> uh. He wants, like, a bowl of soup. And I was like, okay. So, me and William heated up for about six minutes. Mom helps me with the broth. She's like, oh, there's not much broth in there. And she helped me with the broth. And she's like, put it in for about, yeah, six minutes. I was like, okay. Uh, so, William puts it in. And Travis is one of um, our cousin's dad. So, he comes knocking at the door. I was like, why is Travis here? He never visits the house. If... Not two years ago, um, because we normally visit their house, like, every couple of months, maybe eight months. It's not that we're distance away from them. It's because they're busy and going through life like we are. Um, so he comes knocking on the door, and I was like, hey, mom, there's Travis at the door. And her face was like, hmm? <laughs> I'm like, what? And she had a confused look on her face and saying, why is Travis at the door? Like, she wasn't like, what? She wasn't so suspicious. She was like, all right, you know, I'm just a little confused. She opened the door, and he had a bag full of bone jangles. Like, I did not make this crap up. He just had this big, ginormous bag of bone jangles. And she's like, what? And I was like, oh, and my eyes lit up. Not because of the bone jangles. It's just, why is he giving us random food? We never asked for bone jangles that afternoon. We were just going to have leftovers for dinner. Um, he was like, I heard about your loss th th last week. I just didn't know about it until today. Because nobody told him or he found out about it. And he was like, I am so sorry for your loss. I love you guys. I don't know how to support well, but I got you food. And my mom started getting a little emotional and started, you know, tearing up a bit. And I just had to see smile. I was like, thank you so much. Like, you don't know how much these little gestures meant to us. Because, like, a order of Bojangles for our family could easily cost up, like, 50 something dollars. It was a free meal for our family. It was, we were so grateful for it. Um, and I was like, can I give you a hug? He's like, of course. And... I like, saw him a bit like, I think I had like motor oil on him. Luckily, he got none on me and I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, so he gave me a little hug and William gave him a hug. And we were just happy and my mom was like, aww. And like, that's so great. And we were so appreciative of it. Um, and that's what I had for dinner tonight. Yummy chicken with mashed potatoes and like a kind of sausage gravy thing. It was so good. Um, I ate it all up. <laughs> um, oh, hi, Doc. You're doing a whole podcast without me. No, I'm not doing a podcast. I'm doing a video where I've been talking about my day this entire time. And I was just on the subject of me talking about the Bojangles thing. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I've been talking about my day, sitting alone in this room, just talking about my day this whole time. Okay. Because I was like, I need to talk about it before my memory loss gets to me. Um, so I'll keep on going, I guess, because uh, it's 8.26, so I've been talking for around like 20-something minutes now, um, which is quite a while. Uh, but, yeah. So we got Bojangles, and it was super sweet, and we got some, and since then, it's been chill, and I heard mom and dad, like, their dad and our mom, 
she, they were like, really? Like, because Miss Bowling, like, left uh, their dad a text message, I think, or, like, a call saying, oh, for Donnie and William and Doc to be excused, you you need, like, a pamphlet from the hospital. I'm like, we can't go back. We, why, why won't we make an hour and a half drive to grab a damn pamphlet? That's what I'm probably going to focus on a pamphlet. Exactly. That's all, what I was talking about. Your hair looks so good. Thank you. Like, it looks, I have to point it out, guys, her hair is looking sleek. Like, it's looking so perfect tonight. Uh, Rune's having a perfect hair day. You can't see my hair. It's on a little hat. Uh, we had a bath not too long ago, like 30 minutes ago. Uh, but, yeah, um, Miss Bowling was, like, texting my dad, not my dad, their dad, sorry, uh, about how they need to be excused for this, and I was like, what? They're like, what? I was in the living room the whole time, like, why would they need to be excused and have a pamphlet when we already wrote them a note talking about what had happened? Um, I said, I have a photo for proof. Yeah, and she's like, oh, I don't want to see that. I'm like, well, uh, what else? That's the only proof we have, a photo of our dying grandma. What proof do you need more? Like, we didn't have any other proof, but, like, a photo, like, a couple of photos with her. Um, but, yeah, it was just sucked that we had to explain it that much to our school just for them to say, you're unexcused, meaning those absences won't force fail you. Like, it's not our fault. We didn't we didn't think that a family death would happen in one night. No, that's how kind of crappy our life is somewhat is. It's rewarding and fulfilling, but crappy at the same time, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense any at all, but yeah, uh, and ever since then, we've just been sitting here watching videos, playing my game, chilling here, um, yeah, we've just been busy, not busy, I haven't even touched my fucking homework since I got home, <laughs> which I should be doing that, um, because I got to turn it in tomorrow, yay, so fun, um, yeah, and when I asked Miss Peters, should I do the lab, and you, she was like, oh no, you aren't here, it's okay, it's okay, it's like, it's fine, and I was like, okay, thank you, uh, yeah, and Floor during lunch, she told me that her boyfriend had appendicitis, also on Friday, uh, one day after my grandma's passing, her boyfriend had appendicitis, stomach pain, vomiting, and he stayed in the hospital all the way till Sunday, late last night when he came home. And he's been resting now, which is a good sign. But I met him before very briefly, but he seemed like a very sweet guy. Uh, yeah, and he takes little pictures of Floor while she sleeps. And I saw one of the pictures one day, and, and I just saw Floor with messy hair just sleeping on her bed. I'm like, aww. Little float conked out. Um, Sleeping on her bed? Yeah, her boyfriend takes funny photos of her, her while she's sleeping. She's like, they're so embarrassing. I'm like, no, they're not. It's fine. It's cool. I'm way weirder in my fucking sleep. I don't even want to know. Uh, I talk. I fart sleep. I talk sleep. He I, moan sleep. I moan You don't want to be in the same room while I'm sleeping because it's horrible. Uh, then he farts. I don't do that ever, not I hope. <laughs> I hear Doc be doing that, like, we're not even going to reenact that. That's horrible. Uh, but, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up today's little vlog. Not little, because it's probably been half a fucking hour. Uh, but this is just explaining my college day in briefer, like, more detailed in depth than I shared in the vlog. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and bye-bye. Doc, you want to say bye-bye? Bye. Bye.